of the second uh, qualifying final is this one. Melbourne versus the Brisbane Lions. And we want to put up something that's just amazing in this game. We've got the number one defence versus the number one attack. So the Lions, number one attack. Melbourne, number one defence. Fifth ranked attack. Fifth ranked defence. So just flip been, it around. Yeah. yeah, and it's going to see who wins. I, like I'm a Mel I think Melbourne have got full capability yeah. on both sides of the ball. But... Can they handle, if, if Brisbane's midfield, we're going to get to the midfields, we're going to get to some key matchups. But it's, everyone likes to argue that defend, we both know you need a balance, and they are reasonably balanced. If one of them just sat up in the top four, well, we're top four in both, and you just tick that off. Yeah, there's not many forward back matchups I'd pay to go and watch, but I would pay to watch Stephen May and Joe Danaher. So Joey's been pretty good this year now. He's up to 45 goals for the year. Steve May, arguably the best centre back in the game, Ross. Well, I think he is. I yeah. think he's a big physical man. I think May's weakness is his tank. If Danahar can get on yeah. his bike and get moving and move him around, I think he's a chance. But if he stands and delivers and they bomb it in, I think May, with the assistance with Lever, will gobble him up. But as always, it's going to be about pressure on the ball. But this is Danahar's moment. This is what he's asked for. This is what Brisbane asked for. We would love him to stand up. And speaking of match winners, you love Cameron and you love Zach Bailey, Ross. Well, their speed. Yeah. They're, that's, Brisbane weren't a quick team, but these two in, they're lightning and beautiful finishes and both in good form. And the Melbourne small defenders like Salem, you know, and Hunt, if he plays, are they able to handle the speed of these two? Yeah, you're right. Daniel Rich gets away with a lot for me. So this <laughs> Bailey's one of his last goals. But Daniel Rich gets away with a lot. Grant Birchall is recruited. And they just carve you up by foot. So I'm going to be fascinated by, do they get this time and space versus Neil Bullen, Spargo, Pickett? Because... I'd put some time into Rich. No one yeah, does. Yeah, look, they're stars. Yeah. They're stars with the ball. But I've got a real query on them in an up-tempo game. If you turn them around and take them back, they give you a look. I think Pickett and those guys and Spargo can get hold of them. As long as Melbourne make it an up-tempo... Brisbane love a nice, settled, composed yeah. game. Make it a bit chaos. Don't make it composed. Turn them around and expose their lack of leg speed. Yeah, it's for this. It's what they do in their front half and their pressure, which I think Melbourne can win this game. Ross, we just want to finally look at the engine rooms of both clubs and look how deep at bats. This is why they both made the top four. Well, this is where it's going to be won yeah. and lost. And I think the real... When you, when you break them up, they're very easy. They've got spread. They've, got, they've probably got a little bit more zip on the outside. But the inside beast... But I think Gorn's going to be the difference in this game. He's let them. He's dragged them off the bottom of the ladder. He's grown in his captaincy. And he stood up in the biggest moments. I, and I think it's where they play the game. They've won anywhere. They've beat seven of the top yeah. eight in matches. Brisbane are about four. Interstate, I think Melbourne will get it done with this midfield. Yeah, we'll take a look at the odds for this game, Ross, and uh, you're right, uh, $1.72.15. So yeah, Melbourne should be too strong. Ed, and we'll be back later on to look at the other two finals.